Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in our last video we created this nice looking animated text headline here. In this video we're going to show you how to use it across all of your pages. If you've got a headline like this and you want to sort of use it on more than one page or on all of your pages, we can export it and import it into a new page very easily. So on the page that you've got it on, hit your edit with Elementor. So once we're in, in the page, you've got your Elementor grid of modules over here or widgets. Here's our nice headline. If you hover over it, you've got a little tab, which is the whole section, which I'm going to save today inside the section you've got a little dark one for a column and you've got a little blue button on the actual widget or module itself so I'm going to right click on the section I'm going to say save as template I'm just going to call it HL for headline call yours what you wish I'm going to hit the save button and you can organize it by date and it'll pop to the top there as you can see I've got a lot of modules saved here great now that we've got it saved let's add a new page and put it on a new page so I'm going to exit to the dashboard hit the new page button up the top new page or you can go over here and hit new page And I'll call this title and over here I want to make sure that our page is set to Elementor full width that'll let us use the whole screen rather than the boxed default WordPress and I'm going to hit edit with Elementor and once it's loaded here we are with our Elementor grid with all our little modules here on the left hand side and all we need to do to import our saved section is go to the little file icon, left click, go to my templates and again I'll sort by date just le left click on the date and there it is at the top. I'm going to hit insert. Now when this pops up you can either do no or yes. Yes is going to overwrite the styles on the page so I'd be careful with that. In this particular case it doesn't matter at all. If in doubt always hit no. You can always redo it. And there it is, there's our title just popped in there. Of course you can change everything and the styles will remain the same. So every time you add a new page you can add it simply by doing that. So let's save it, publish it, and preview the changes with a little eyeball button there. And there it is, there's our little title right there. Now being able to save and reuse these elements is a really useful feature. You can also export them and import them into a different website that is using Elementor Pro also. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.